No matter how powerful our phones get, there's still a place in our lives for a laptop with a physical keyboard to help us do the tasks we need to do on a daily basis, such as completing documents, catching up on emails, or doing an assignment. And I get asked all of the time, the laptop that I recommend for students, for people just looking for a device to get things done. Hi everyone, it's KJ the My Tech Guy here, and when I got sent the Pixelbook Go, I was skeptical about how it would fit into my day-to-day -day life because I already use my MacBook Pro and iPad Pro on a daily basis. But because of the things that I've discovered and we'll talk about throughout this video, the Pixelbook Go has actually become a laptop that I think is perfect for most people. Let's get right into it. The model that Google sent me is their mid-range model that runs the 8th gen Intel Core i5 chipset with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of SSD flash storage. Nothing there is out of the ordinary and those are decent specifications for a mid-range laptop. However, keep in mind that this laptop does run Chrome OS, which will be heavily optimized for this laptop itself. This means that the power that Google packed into this computer will be plenty for whatever you'd ever want to do with this laptop. That also means that battery life should be excellent, and in my experience, it has. The battery is rated for 12 hours, but if you do any sort of video streaming or photo editing, then expect to last around 9 to 10 hours, which is still pretty decent battery life. The design of the Pixelbook Go is where it starts to really excel in my opinion. It weighs only 2 pounds and it's only 13 millimeters thick and especially if you're coming from a bigger laptop, you'll definitely notice how light this thing is. It has two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. And a problem that most manufacturers don't address with their laptops is the fact that they could be very slippery and susceptible to dropping. So with the Pixelbook Go, Google made their laptop have ridges on the bottom, which makes it really easy to grip. And they really kept in mind the people that are constantly on the go and constantly carrying their laptops. The ridges make the Pixelbook Go very easy to pull out of a bag. And because it is such a compact package, I'm able to put the laptop in slots in my backpack that aren't even meant to be for laptops. So we'll even be able to fit in most decently sized purses or bags as well. The screen on the Pixelbook Go is a 13.3 inch touch screen. This makes it extremely easy to do things such as open up the app drawer or change settings quickly as you would on your phone. The screen on the model I have is 1080p but you do get a 4K screen if you get the top of the line version. In my experience the screen is definitely a high quality one and I think the quality of a screen is much more important than the resolution itself even though I am a person that really loves high resolution screens, I still think this is a pretty good one. For such a small and thin laptop, the speakers on the Pixelbook Go are also impressive, and Google includes a 1080p webcam up top, which should make this a nice video chatting device as well. Okay, so I know what a lot of you are thinking. KJ, this is a glorified Chromebook, and it can't run the high-intensity apps that the Macs and the Windows PCs of the world can, so this is basically useless. And to that, I'd say I will acknowledge that yeah, Chrome OS will not allow you to run Windows only or Mac only apps. And there are some people out there that need those Mac only or Windows only apps and have to get either or computer to use the apps that they need to use on a daily basis for say their job. But the title of this video is that this is the perfect laptop for most people and I'll stand by that. Hear me out. First of all, Chrome OS, its constant software updates and built-in virus protection will mean that you'll simply will not ever have to worry about getting a virus. Next, there are a lot of Android apps that are available to download and use on the Pixelbook Go. I'm not just talking about apps like Instagram and Twitter, which do in fact work on the Pixelbook Go. I'm talking about apps like in the Microsoft Office Suite and Adobe Lightroom CC, which will allow me to be productive on this laptop as my data can sync to my other devices easily. And because of the extra horsepower Google packed into this model, apps like Lightroom run very smoothly and the Pixelbook Go makes editing pics a breeze. 
But I think the top feature of that, at least this version of the Chrome OS that really made me a Pixelbook Go stan is the fact that it has Linux on board. It has the Linux terminal, which basically means that you can download any Debian compatible Linux app directly onto the Pixelbook Go without having to dual boot or anything like that. For my sake, this meant that I was able to download Atom, which is a nice coding IDE. It's not in the app store, but it is Linux compatible, and a couple of terminal commands later, I had it installed on the Pixelbook Go. These Linux apps that you download will just go in a special folder in your app drawer. So yeah, the range of compatible apps that you can run on the Pixelbook Go just grew significantly because of this Linux support. And all these apps work directly on top of Chrome OS itself. So it's actually really cool. When you open the Linux terminal or Linux applications, they simply pop up as if they were native Chrome OS apps. No virtual machine or dual booting necessary. The fact that this is a Google machine means that there's a Google Assistant built right in as you'd come to expect. But actually it's a little cooler on the Pixelbook Go because the voice recognition tech is directly on board the Pixelbook Go, which means that it doesn't have to go to a server to process your voice commands and everything just works a lot quicker. All this means practically is that voice commands work almost instantly, which has actually made me use the Google Assistant more often than I would have expected myself to. With the Google Assistant, which also has a dedicated button, you can of course ask questions like math or the weather, but with the Pixelbook Go, the integration is deeper than that. You can also do things like open applications and change settings, which is pretty cool. Okay, Google, lower the volume. Sure. The trackpad is something that I have a love-hate relationship with on this laptop. On one hand, it has some pretty cool gestures like being able to slide three fingers left or right to switch between tabs in Chrome, or slide three fingers up to create or switch between desktops. On the other hand, the trackpad is ridiculously loud to press. In certain situations, tap to click isn't an option, so I have to click down on the trackpad to make selections, and it makes a significantly loud thumping click regardless of how lightly I try to press it in. It's very unfortunate because the keyboard is actually very pleasant to type on, is backlit, and does not make much noise at all. But overall, the trackpad is actually very responsive, and I'd say it is an above average trackpad. But like every other laptop out right now, it still doesn't come close to the Mac level smoothness. Buying a Pixelbook Go is like buying an iPhone in the smartphone space. Yeah, there are definitely more laptops out there that are more powerful and can run more sophisticated applications. However, most people just need a device that simply works, and they need a device that does so with a solid keyboard and a trackpad experience. The Pixelbook Go just works. As I've said before, I use my MacBook Pro and iPad Pro on a daily basis, and still there are moments where I'd actually rather bring the Pixelbook Go along with me. If I need to do things like update my calendar, catch up on emails, or finish up an assignment, I'm probably gonna pick up the Pixelbook Go because of how compact and light it is and because it has that pleasant typing experience. Things like the smart keyboard case on the iPad still don't come close to the typing experience found on attached keyboards like on the Pixelbook Go. And if you factor in the fact that you can run Linux applications on it now, I feel as if the, a lot of the gaps that were on previous Chromebooks aren't there anymore. With Linux support, the Pixelbook Go could now even be the computer I pick up first when I'm trying to complete a coding assignment, or when I'm trying to tinker with different Linux applications for research purposes. When I first got the Pixelbook Go from Google, I was intrigued, but honestly, I wasn't that optimistic. But over the course of the last few months, my opinion definitely changed. This video isn't sponsored by Google, nor did Google even require me to make a video. I decided to make this video because I actually believe it's that good. Don't get me wrong, for hardcore video editors or if you're a mechanical engineer that needs to use CAD, you need a computer that can run those specific applications, so the Pixelbook Go won't be for you. But if you're someone who doesn't necessarily need to use a hardcore desktop app and just needs a reliable laptop that you know will just always work, that's where the Pixelbook Go is an easy recommendation from me for most people. And if more people use Chromebooks like the Pixelbook Go, then app developers will be incentivized to optimize their apps for the Chrome OS platform. I'm going to leave any links down in the description. Right now, my Believe in Yourself hoodies have sold faster than I've expected, and if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to reward you all with a 20% discount on those hoodies. Just use the promo code PIXELBOOK at checkout, and you'll get 20% off those hoodies, so go do that now. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And as for this channel, make sure to subscribe and have the notification bell click to stay up to date on my latest videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.